beginning of the summer of my freshman year, I was at cheerleading tryouts, and to my surprise, instead of trying out in the gym, we were actually hold, holding tryouts in the cafeteria. And without knowing tons of people, I was trying to like interact with the rest of the team that was already there. So we all walked down to the gym to go get our mats, and volleyball was actually in the gym practicing with tennis balls. And uh, we had to throw our mats down from the folded up bleachers, carry them back up the stairs into the cafeteria. And at first we were left alone, but as soon as we started picking up the mats and carrying them, the volleyball team actually started throwing tennis balls at us. And imagine that being your first experience at the school that you were about to attend for four years. Now, fast forward a couple months, um, I actually got injured during the cheerleading season, and my, I hurt my back so bad I could barely even sit. And at the end of the year, when I got my letterman jacket, our whole team was happy and felt that we deserved it. Um, but that entire day at school, all I heard from the classmates and everybody else from every other sport talking about how we personally did not deserve our letters. Now, to me, that made my injury feel like it was for nothing or like my injury was stupid. Um, it also made me feel kind of under, underappreciated for how much time that we actually put in during out the whole year. In high school, cheerleading is considered a sport, but in college, NCAA does not consider cheer to be a sport. My presentation will show what NCAA considers a sport to be, if cheer meets the requirements, the benefits of cheer being a sport, and finally, if cheer should be recognized as a sport in college. So that's a picture of me my freshman year. Um, according to the NCAA, a sport is defined as institutional activity involving physical excursion with the purpose of competing against other teams or individuals within a collegiate structure. Furthermore, a sport should include scheduled competitions with standardizing rules with rational and or scoring systems by official regulatory agencies. Meaning that the NCAA does recognize bowling as a sport and golf. But if those two are recognized as a sport, why isn't this? Now you might hear the definition of a sport and think that cheer is none of that. But in fact, it is. Cheerleading has two different parts throughout the year. At the beginning of the year, practices revolve around teaching <coughs> new cheerleaders the cheers for every sport, conditioning, lifting, weight training, uh, stunting practice, and tumbling. While this first part might seem like it does not require a lot of work, imagine having to memorize 10 different cheers for all the sports you have to cheer for and preparing to lift girls. The conditioning is necessary for the routine and competitions, as was the weightlifting, stumbling, stunting and tumbling. For the second part of the season, the year is spent with grueling practices to put together a routine for competition and practicing it over and over again. A routine is a dance that has to be at least two minutes long and has to consist of a certain amount of tumbling, stunting, um, pyramids, cheer, and dance. If these requirements aren't met, the team cannot compete and they can't be scored for that competition. We are scored on how tight or spread out our formations are, how advanced our stunts and tumbling are, and how many mistakes we make. The pressure to have the best stunts and the best tumbling is so high because everyone wants to win and that is how you get there. Because this is a big want, hard work is dedicated throughout the weeks before competitions to have the ability to survive the whole two-minute routine. I interviewed a college cheerleader currently attending the University of Wyoming. Um, Katie Francis said her, team's, her team practices three times a week for two to three hours, not including the weightlifting practices they have to go to, the conditioning they have to go to, and their tumbling and stunting practices they also have to attend. So if we are scored and competed against in practice throughout the year, why aren't we considered a sport? Well, what would the advantages be of being considered a sport by NCAA? For this, I found little, but first benefit would be scholarships. There are colleges in the United States that give out or scholarships to cheerleaders, but there are only nine colleges in total in the United States. 
For all these colleges, the scholarships vary, and some of them are close to nothing. For example, Georgia Tech, they, off they offer their scholarships in textbook stipends or meals. And it may seem that that's like a little, but it can help a lot. Um, but it might seem that we are kind of ungrateful for being sad that that's the only thing that we are given. But how many have heard of a big football player or football players in general accepting a scholarship like that? So if cheer was actually considered a college sport, would there be more scholarships? Football, for example, is widely known as an intense physical sport, and there are 236 di only Division I colleges in the United States, and each of them are able to offer a minimum <coughs> of 85 full ride scholarships. So basically, there's only this little for cheer, and that plus way more for other sports just in Division This is just Division I. This is all the divisions. So the second benefit that I found um, was access to facilities, trainers and physicians, weight training, and certified coaches. Now, all sports are offered this, but even though cheer isn't considered a sport, do they have access to all of this also? According to Katie, their cheer team is offered the same facilities and benefits as an activity actually considered a sport. This is when the question is asked if it should be considered a sport, because besides the lack of scholarship, there aren't any other advantages to being a sport. Without the title of being a sport, they're still treated as one. So one last thing Katie said to me was, I believe cheer should be an NCAA sport. Although we don't receive the same recognition as other athletes, we work just as hard as they do. We have a common goal and compete just as every other sport does. Because there is so little evidence to what the benefits would actually be to it being considered a sport, besides the scholarships and the access to everything that sports are given, it all comes down to how it would affect the cheerleader or the cheer team with confidence or how they feel about being accepted for what they do and how much work they put in. Just like Katie said, being considered a sport would just give us all recognition to what we all do all the strain we put on our bodies to prove ourselves and how important cheer is to us. Thank you.